Happy Mont Martini Monday, peeps. As you all know, uh, my name is Jennifer. I will be your virtual bartender. Tonight's musical guest, well, I say keep saying guest. Tonight's musical introduction is Mark Newman, okay? Uh, another excellent musician that I was introduced to uh, working at KJ Farrell's on Tuesday nights for original music. Let me just turn them down a little bit so you, I don't have to be screaming. I find I've been screaming in a lot of the videos. I can't help it. I'm just a loud person. Um, okay, so tonight's two cocktails because it's Martini Monday. What the heck? Um, I'm going to be making a Vespers. That's for Jen Huff. Um, apparently, it's a lot of booze, so I'm just going to take a couple sips and go, hey, hey, hey. and then I'm going to try to also tell you how to make a, uh, a martini called a glass slipper, which is sweeter and more, more my stick, my style. So, for the Vespers, it says I could shake, so I am going to use my shake, shake, shake. Glass shaker. Again, if you're entertaining guests, you use a scoop. Me, myself, and I, I use glass. I use my hands. Well, look, I found one of the round thing, the round cubes. Good for my scotch, but I'm not drinking scotch today. Okay, so the recipe calls for, oh boy, I'm going to use my Sutler's Gin for these guys from North Carolina. Awesome peeps. Great gin. Mmm, delicious. So this says one and a quarter ounces of gin. So this is one, so I'm just gonna wing it and use my little jigger here and go one, a little bit there. Boom, chakalaka laka. Now it calls for three quarters of an ounce of vodka. Get my Tito's out. So this on the other side, we'll use the other side, fill it three quarters of the way, bam. Okay. Now normally all my bottles are the same size. I have pourers and it's just I use a count and it's just easier. But because I'm showing you how to do it, we're using the jigger. Then it says a half an ounce. You can use dry vermouth or lilet, which is a French aperitif wine. And this calls for a half an ounce. So we're gonna fill this up. Put that in there. Ooh, baby, when you're gone, don't get me wrong. Then it says a lemon peel to garnish, but we'll do that afterwards. That's it. Oh my goodness, that is all booze. We're gonna shake the, you know what, out. My God, I forgot the glasses. Boom. This is why I need an assistant. When all this stuff is over, I'm hiring an assistant. Boom. Chili, chili, chili. Frosted martini glass, the only way to go. Oops, I had a little leakage on that one. So now, normally I just pour it out like this, but being that you guys are probably novices, I'll use the strainer. Drain that, oh my God, it smells delicious. Very boozy, boozy woozy. And it asks for a lemon peel, a twist. So remember I told you back in the day, I used to cut little strips, peel them off, potato peeler. Take a nice twist. Oh, that was good, that smells really nice. And always squeeze it a little over the glass and rim the the lip of the glass because you want that oil to taste that oil when you make a sip of the cocktail. All right, Jen Huff, this one's for you if I don't pass out. Cheers, everybody. Mmm, it's boozy. Very I'm afraid to light a match near my, my breath because it'll blow up from all the booze. Actually, it's quite nice, though. Okay. So for the second cocktail, which is more my speed, making a mess as usual, we're going to put this away. I'm going to let that sit. Actually, I'm going to put that back on the ice 
because the colder it is, the better I like it. All right, now this one, the next cocktail is called a glass slipper. So, two ingredients, real easy peasy. It says two and a half ounces of gin. On it comes. Okay, ice, ice, ice baby, always. Ice, ice baby. I'm getting delirious being here by myself. Did a lot of gardening outside today. Hopefully, it will come to fruition. Well, I'm sure some of you, some of you saw my post that I bought two 18 packs of eggs, organic eggs, and I left them in my car for over three hours. Stupid. Um, and it's 80-something, probably 90 degrees out today. Loser. But anyway, getting back to the, <laughs> the cocktails at hand. All right, so we have two and a half ounces of gin for another boozy cocktail. I'm winging it. And then it calls for, believe it or not, oh, don't forget, I'm using the Sutler's Gin. These guys are great North out of North Carolina. Small batch ginnery. Ginnery, is that what you call it? Cool. I think I made up a new name. A new word. With blue curacao. Love blue curacao. Gives the, fun the funkiest color to a lot of different things. Now this is only saying, uh, oh, it says three quarters of an ounce. So you know I'm going to put more in than that because, you know, that's the way I am. Put that in there with the gin. Mush it around a little bit. You didn't say blue curacao. I always try to close everything up. It's a habit. Cover on. My little trusty shaker. Again. Kevin Doolin, Sheila Rogish. Thanks to my little awesome martini shaker. Perfect size. This one has no twist or anything. Just a frozen glass, martini glass, very important. Oh, look at that color, that's pretty. Woo! Thank God I didn't make a lot, cause that's a lot. Cheers. Wow, that's more my style. Still boozy, but a little on the sweet side. Martini Mondays. I'm going to include the recipes for both cocktails underneath the description of my video. And please don't forget, tips are not necessary, but always greatly appreciated. You can uh, bleh, tip me on Venmo at JennySan629. And also, all the jewelry that you see me wearing, my earrings, my bracelets, my silk lariats, made by me. You can find my shop on Etsy.com. It's sunlit and happy, all one word. Thanks very much for listening, everybody. Happy Monday. See you tomorrow. Bye.